Hi, and welcome to the third tutorial video in this series, which explores Preset 4. Preset 4 has a custom notational arrangement, which features a series of different MIDI scales on different channels, mapped to different locations. So rows two and three are set up to play a D major scale, And then rows five and six have a D major pentatonic scale spiraling up to the top of the sphere. Mixing up scales in this way could form the basis for composition. So for example here, you can use row three to play a series of perfect fifths and then interject the notes from the pentatonic scales to create a lead melody. Then you've got row four set up on a different channel, playing a different patch in a different synth, but it's set up to be in the same key. For example, pad one is set up as CC message one, which on a keyboard MIDI controller would be a mod wheel. On the main patch I've got loaded, it's affecting vibrato. Then we've got pad seven set to CC message seven, which actually controls the volume in the selected channel by default. So we can amplify the sound a bit. We've set up pad three to trigger CC message four, which in MIDI would have originally been triggered by a pedal. In this instance, it intensifies the sound of the synth, making a much pointier sound. The default pan CC message, number 10, is controlled by both pad 4 and pad 8, which are exactly opposite each other, to the left and right of the sphere. So you can use this to pan the sound on the selected channel between your speakers. So you can pan over to the left with this pad, and pan over to the right with the pad on the other side. CC messages 10 and 7 are also ideally suited to the dials which come as standard on the Elite series and are very easily assigned by selecting the dial in the corner and assigning it to CC message 10. Anyway, on the patch I've currently got set up, pads 5 and 6 are assigned to CC messages 17 and 16, which are general purpose in MIDI. On this synth, they're set up to morph it out of all recognition. So you should be starting to understand how you can use MIDI control change messages to explore synthesizers in a really hands-on way. In the next tutorial we'll be exploring a completely custom notational arrangement which has been tailor-made for the alphasphere. Thanks for watching so far, 